Hey everyone, welcome to day seven of our Royal Caribbean Navigator of the Seas Mexican cruise. Today is a sea day. There's still so much to do today. Including my favorite, one of my favorite things, the Captain's Circle, which will be in the Royal Theater. I love hearing all the background information from the captain. It's gonna be an awesome day here on the Navigator. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. We just got back to our room from breakfast and our luggage tags are in here. We actually filled out when we'd like to get off the ship on the app and then these showed up in our room. Some information for easy departures as well as an envelope if you'd like to give any of the staff an extra tip or gratuity. We went to the main dining room for breakfast this morning. The main dining room here on the Navigator of the Seas is beautiful. I love, love the traditional big dining room. It's very elegant and pretty. Yeah. We had a really nice breakfast. We, yeah, uh, I enjoy the kind of formal breakfast there. It's even the tablecloth at breakfast. I know this is silly, but it just feels, um, feels fancy. And sometimes it's nice to feel fancy. Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> Should we talk about the food? Yeah, quickly, let's talk about the food. Um, for We had them bring us, they had donuts as well as Danish pastries. So we actually, we weren't sure what they had, so we asked them just to bring us something and they brought us four. <laughs> Which was a lot. It was more surprised us with something and it was surprised us with four, so that was... Um, it was perfect it was though really because good. you got the donut that you like and I got the donut I liked and mm -hmm. then we each got a little Danish which was mm -hmm. really delightful. I enjoyed it. Yeah. So we also had of course coffee. They had orange complimentary juice. orange juice and apple juice I believe. And I think cranberry. There's a few. Yeah. Quite yeah. a few on there. And then for the main dish I had the breakfast burrito which had I think sausage and hash, hash browns, browns and inside. eggs inside. It was big. It was big. Yeah. Really and then. Big. I also had the side of sausage, bacon, and hash brown. That was a lot of food. Of yeah, it was. Um, you never know how some, how big something is. That yeah. was a lot, a lot for sure. I ordered the French toast again. This, to me, is the best French toast I've ever had. Mm -hmm. What I've had on Royal Caribbean, I had it on the Aviation as well. I love their French toast. It looked really good. It's not very big, mm -hmm. but it, it is so delicious and I love the the berries on the side and the whipped cream mm -hmm. it was so good I really liked it yeah and then um, they also brought us the yogurt parfait the strawberry yogurt parfait. yeah I had the strawberry one as yeah. well which was so, delightful it was yeah. kind of like our dessert when we were done <laughs> <laughs> so it was excellent in yeah. the main dining room we're gonna head up to the walking track and burn off some of that Just breakfast <laughs> <laughs> it was a big breakfast it so. was big the running track is located on deck 12 above the main pool. It is eight laps to one mile and it does go past many of the loungers and this is quite a busy area. So if you are planning on coming out for a run, I'd highly recommend coming out early in the morning or into the evening. Mini golf? Ah, I'm gonna beat you. The Navigator Dunes is located at the front of the ship on deck 13. It's got a fun kind of Caribbean vibe to it with the palm trees, kind of the waterfalls, the lighthouse, shipwreck there. It is free to play, so just go ahead and grab a club and a ball and you are all set. All sorts of obstacles, including dolphins. Go for it. I expect it to go in the clam. Well, that works too. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All in one. This is a really good golf course. It's really good and really cute. Really cute. Whoa. Did it win? No. And when you're done, make sure to grab a selfie in the Navigator Dunes Volkswagen van. We got ourselves some coffee, and now we're waiting for the captain's corner. Mm -hmm. It's a nice way to spend the morning. Yes, relaxing. Who won at mini golf? Okay. Rematch later, I think, though. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. He's the master of the is Captain King. Good morning, everybody. Do 
you eat the same food we do? Uh, who's we? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, do they use salt or fresh water in the toilets? Okay, uh, so the you can actually drink your toilet water. The, the fresh water supply system, uh, we have uh, right now about 3,000 tons of fresh water, um, potable water down in our, our tanks in the bottom of the ship. So right now we're doing about, uh, I'll, I'll round it up, we're doing about 20 knots. So one knot is 1.15 miles an hour is your conversion factor. Um, it, yeah, sometimes it just looks like that with the way the swell is going or, or the sea conditions. But uh, no, we're going at a pretty good clip right now. Um, I'm running on four engines at the moment, which uh, maximum I can run is five engines, uh, just to increase that electrical load to, to get that RPM I need from the, uh, from the azipods. Nachos for lunch. Cones for dessert. They're good. They're good. These are really good cones. I like the mm -hmm. ice cream one. Mm -hmm. That is good. Beautiful day. It's kind of hazy though, but still bright and nice. The seas are pretty calm. Mm -hmm. This is one of the calmest that I've seen the ocean out here. You can see the fish down in the water. Well, we are about 95% packed up. We spent the last little bit packing, so. We did, so we're gonna go for dinner and then when we get back, we'll pack up the last few things. But mm -hmm. of course, we'll make sure that we do not pack our passports and our wallet, we'll keep that out. Mm -hmm. And a change of clothes for tomorrow. Make sure you essential. empty the safe as well. That would be really easy to forget. That would be. <laughs> <laughs> and so. I saw someone else actually said they forgot their um, hair straightener because there's so many little drawers here mm -hmm. around the vanity. So check them all. There's and even lots. the little cupboards in the bathroom and, and stuff. A lot, so, of, yeah. a lot of little storage spaces. It was a fun afternoon though. The sun ended up coming out. It was beautiful yeah. and it was perfect temperature. Like it was still warm, but not hot. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed the hot tubs. There were a lot of loungers open. We laid out in the sun for a while. Just a relaxing afternoon. We walked around the ship a little bit, went out to the front, mm -hmm. to the- uh, I love that helipad space the too. The helipad, yeah, it's beautiful out there. And the seas were quite calm. Mm -hmm. You could see the swells, but there wasn't any uh, big waves. Mm -hmm. It was really calm. The other thing we did, we stopped by the laser tag in Studio B or the ice rink. Mm -hmm. And I was amazed at how they set that up in there. It's really cool. Yeah. So I was curious how they would set up a uh, laser tag in there, but it's kind of like that bouncy house where they blow it up with air mm -hmm. and it filled the entire ice arena space. Mm -hmm. It looked really cool. They had it all dark in there. Yeah, it looked, like, it looked fun. like people were having fun. It did fill up though. It was complimentary. Mm -hmm. um, so if you do want to do that, make sure you're on top of that so you don't miss out on signing up. Ask, ask right away too. So mm -hmm. if that's important to you or your family, you'll want to check that out right yeah, away. Yeah, really neat though in, in Studio B. But it's dinner time, our it final is, dinner. I know. Yeah. I, today is such a mixed, you know, you miss your family and you're ready to go back home, but it's so it's kind of sad leaving. Yeah. And yet it's still the last day of your cruise, so you want to enjoy it. So yeah. yeah. We're going to head for dinner right now to the main dining room again, and I'm sure it will be wonderful. Tonight was an amazing end to our seven night Mexican cruise on the Navigator of the Seas. It was phenomenal. It was a great night. We had great food, great entertainment, but I think we should start with dinner. Yeah. So we were in our usual section. I know you'd wanted to mention our wait staff. I did because they clearly, um, care a lot and went above and beyond. Mm -hmm. So we had Vivek and Getty Yuda. And they were awesome. They were both awesome and always came with- 10 out of 10. Yeah, they <laughs> yeah. always came with really big smiles. And Getty Yuda, when I saw him in other places around the ship, he was always beaming with the biggest smile. Like mm -hmm. he remembered us from dinner and yeah. like genuinely so happy. And that, that yeah. was that I appreciate that. Yeah. And Vivek always made an effort to come talk to us and um, get to know us. And, and great recommendations, yeah, everything. Yeah. He was awesome. So they were both awesome. They were both truly. Yeah. Yeah. So the meal, we'll start out with that. So we had some of the same things again. We did, but not everything. Not everything, no. It was some good stuff. Yes. <laughs> Let's start with the api. The api, we both had the same thing. The Mediterranean tapa medley, and that had hummus, tzatziki, tzatziki sauce, and pita bread. pita bread, and a tiny Greek salad. It was actually really cute. I When I saw that when it came out, mm -hmm. it was a cute little 
plate of a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was adorable. So it was not it, a great big bowl of Greek salad. No, it was on the smaller side, but it was still a lot, kind of. A fair bit know. of pita bread, though. Yeah. That, yeah. I would say, was generous. It was it. delicious. The Greek salad was really good. Mm -hmm. The tzatziki sauce was really good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. it, yeah. I liked it, and the presentation was nice. 100%, yeah. Um, I, I did have a Caesar salad as well to go with that. But where we differed in dinner was our main course, so. And this was shocking. <laughs> I, I think we had what each other would usually pick. That's true. And <laughs> so I was actually surprised you didn't order what I ordered, because I ordered first, mm -hmm. and I went with the braised lamb, which is out of my ordinary. Yeah. And I have to say it was extremely tender. The meat mm -hmm. just like came right off of the bone. It was um, tasty, it was delicious, and it came with garlic mashed potatoes, and then like a bean ragu. But I didn't really eat the beans because at that point I was starting to get full and I wanted to leave room for dessert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I had something, um, it was on the menu, it was called the Autumn Turkey Dinner. And that's usually that's what That's usually I what you would have ordered. <laughs> so it had sweet potatoes, it had some stuffing, veggies. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Mm -hmm. um, fair bit, it was actually a decent size mm -hmm. and lots of meat, um, the sweet potatoes. I know you would have loved that. So um, really enjoyed that. It was really good, for sure. And then we both had ordered the same dessert and we saw another dessert go by and well, we, we had to We asked it. Vivek what it was and um, he's like, oh, I'll bring you that too. So we ended up with two desserts each. Mm -hmm. um, we'll start out with the first one. Mm -hmm. It was called the Crema Catalana mm -hmm. and it was Spanish style custard with caramelized sugar on top. It reminded me a lot of creme brulee. It was very, very similar to creme brulee. I liked it a lot. Mm -hmm. It was very smooth. And it had the hard crust on top, just like creme brulee, that the kind crunchy, of lifts off. It's that and, sugar. Yeah, it, probably one of my favorite, if not my mm -hmm. favorite dessert in the week. Mm -hmm. It was so very good. It was really good. And then the other dessert that we asked about, that we ended up getting, um, was the, did you write that one down? No, I didn't, it, but it was <laughs> oh, trifle. Okay. A layered peach trifle. And it was good. Mm -hmm. And the peaches on the bottom were quite refreshing too. Mm -hmm. It had like a kind of a chocolate. Mm -hmm. A um, piece of chocolate and a strawberry. And a strawberry, and yeah. It was pretty too. Yeah. And, but it was a smaller size, so it wasn't mm -hmm. like a ton of dessert to have both of them. Mm -hmm. So if you're in But we did suite, notice because of um, your FOMO. Yeah. If you're missing out, we did walk by the buffet and they were serving it up there as well. Actually, they had it at lunch too. Okay. But at lunch, it was the big round the big, jumbo yeah. thing of But they had small ones tonight. at dinner. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. awesome dinner, yeah. such great service, and a great time in the main dining room this it week. It was. And then, you know what? We came back to our cabin because we needed to put out our clothes. But I don't know if, if you guys struggle with this. I started second guessing everything that I was planning to wear tomorrow because now it's a little bit cooler tonight. So then mm. I was unpacking my jeans and trying to decide, making sure I can carry everything out yeah. with me tomorrow. And yeah, anyways. We put our bags out. Our bags needed to be outside by 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed they're still there now, but it's all good. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so they're out there. Um, we watched them. But we went to the show. But first, oh. first though, the nice thing about Royal Caribbean yeah. is that some of the shows during the week, they'll play them on the television. So we actually caught up on a little bit of the shows that we had missed, because mm -hmm. it's not possible to get to everything. And so that was nice. So yeah. if you miss a show and ch watch, check the television, you might be able to catch it. Mm -hmm. Yes, but then we went to the farewell show. The, yeah, so in the Royal Theater, the farewell show. Um, so the house band played a number and then there was a comedian, his name, the same one from earlier in the week. Mm -hmm. So, Stephen Thomas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this was super funny. It was really he funny. Was good, yeah. he, was, he, he, he's... he cracked a lot of jokes about himself because he mm -hmm. recently broke his arm mm -hmm. and he was, he did, half the show was about him mm -hmm. breaking his arm and it was good. Yeah, it was it, definitely good. We laughed a lot. Mm -hmm. He was really funny. So, and then at the end of that, um, is it, Zhao, the yes. cruise director, he, he announced to stick around at the end of the show because they have a special presentation. And the dancers came out, the ice skaters came out, mm -hmm. um, the wait staff came out. Um, different officers. Officers, different. Um, stateroom mm -hmm. um, attendants, and they all came out, and not all of them from the ship, but a mm -hmm. kind of representation, representation of all the different of them. departments. Yeah, and 
and just um, said thank you and did a little dance number type of thing and uh, waved waved to us. So that was nice. Like cheer, because yeah. you know what, their service has been amazing too. Mm -hmm. Everything has been. Wonderful. Really lovely, and it's clear people work very hard um, to mm -hmm. give us all the great vacation that we've had. Yes. Wonderful week here on the Navigator of the Seas. We want to thank you all for joining us this week here on our Mexican cruise. It's been amazing, and we plan on doing more cruises and more traveling in the future that we want to share with you. So mm -hmm. thank you again so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button for upcoming videos, and until next time, take care and safe travels.